I'm Jennifer Wagner with Collective Wellness and this is Yoga Stretch Fusion. Today is floor only. Make sure to exercise within your ability and if you experience any difficulty make sure you stop. Seek a physician right away. Let's get started. Find a space. Get a chair if you need one and then join me back. Welcome back. This is today the floor only but you're welcome to use a chair if you need to. We're going to start by sitting upright and legs comfortably. I'm going to cross my legs, but I'm not going to overlap them. But again, I want you to sit what's comfortable for you. Hands resting in your lap. Find your center for your tailbone, up to the top of your head, and then eyes gently closed. Inhale. Bring focus to your breathing, focus to your mind, your third eye. Inhale. Exhale. Thanking yourself for taking this time for yourself. Inhale, exhale. Allow yourself to just let everything go. Leave everything at the door. Allow yourself to regroup. Inhale. Bring your hands together, center with your chest into Namaste. You can keep your eyes closed or gazing at the floor if you like. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly open your eyes. Inhale, reach for the sky, lifting up, gazing at your hands. Then you're going to push away, exhale. Inhale, reaching up. Come back to center, down, exhale. Inhale, back up. And open wide, exhale. Inhale, up. And center. This time, forward. Inhale, open wide. And closing. Back to your chest. We'll do that again. Inhale, forward. And open, exhale. Closing together, inhale. Exhale, center. Now we're going to do one each. Come up, inhale. Open up wide, exhale. Inhale, up. Come down, center. Now forward, inhale. Open up wide, exhale. And close back together. Center back to the chest. Do one more time each. Inhale up. Open wide. And we up. Back to center. Forward. Inhale. Open wide. Exhale. And center. Back to your chest. And release. Alright. We're going to rock your head side to side. We're going to move down the spine. So start with our neck. And then you're going to turn your head side to side. Shoulders relax. To the front, you're now shoulders are going to push up and shoulders are going to push down. All the way up and on. There you go. One more time, all the way up and all the way down. Fingers are in, elbows out. We're going to go into a seated cat cow. At this point, you're going to rock your tailbone under, hips rock back. 
sinking through your tailbone. So you're arching, creating a C through your back. Then you're gonna tuck your chin, elbows up and out. You feel that through the spine as you push back into cat. Then you're gonna come up into cow. So your tailbone is going to come out as you arch the back, sway back like a cow. Chest is lifted, chin is lifted, elbows still out. Let's go back and forth. Exhale into a cat. Inhale into a cow. Back and forth, one breath. I move my legs for myself. And exhale. one more time. And breathe. Coming down into that cat, we'll finish with cat, and then up nice and tall. From here, bottoms of your feet together, grabbing at the ankles, you're going to go to butterfly, and you're going to open up and close. So we're going down into the hips now. Inhale. and loose to the hips, just gently moving back and forth. Chest is lifted, shoulders relaxed. One more time, coming down and hold. And then bring your knees in, extending out way and then point and press. Feel that through the front and the back of the legs, down into your ankles and feet. Flex the feet, lifting up. Exhale, hinging your hips forward, chest is staying forward, and you're going to slide down and then lift back up. And exhale forward, keep your chest lifted. And then dropping down, sliding back. Inhale up. And exhale. And dropping down. One more time. And exhale. And lowering down. And release. Toes are pressed down. Exhale forward, reaching as far as you can. Sliding back. Again, sliding forward and back one more time and back. Go ahead and sit comfortably, whatever works best for you, or if you're in a chair, we're going to work on upper body. So you're going to start with your arms out to the sides and chest is lifted, shoulders relax. So even though we're working the shoulders, they should stay. Down. You're going to relax the elbows and extend. Relax and extend. Nice long arms extend through the fingertips. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Extend and hold. And now you're going to rotate through the rotators. Those rotator muscles are right into the shoulder joint. And turn, hold, and then gently pressing back. It's a little movement activating those back muscles. I want you to pull those elbows just a little bit back to activate those shoulder blades a little bit more. And then you're going to extend and go slightly forward. Pushing back. Pull those elbows back a little bit and down. And release. Again, push straight back first, then pull those elbows down and back to activate the shoulder blades. Release. One more time. Straight back and pull down and back. And relax the shoulders a little break. Arms coming out in front. I want you to imagine you're rowing a boat and you're pulling, 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 pulling. And then you're going to push back. Push. Pull back, pull, 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 
Think about as if you have a really big oar. The difference is, is that we are not circling. I just want you to go forward and pull back. Push forward and pull back. Again, activating your postural muscles. These are the muscles that will keep you upright, nice and tall, lose 10 pounds because you're sitting up and standing tall. One more time, pulling back and pushing forward and release. Hopefully you've learned to activate those muscles and notice you don't really need resistance to activate and challenge those muscles. From here, we're going to sweep around. You're going to tuck your tailbone, sweep those arms around, chin is tucked, back is like a cat, and then you're going to open up and out again. Now, if you need to, you can keep your arms down if it's more comfortable for you. I just want you to open back out. And release. Bring your right arm across. Pull the arm across and pull in nice and tight. Feel that in the shoulder of the scapula. Make sure your torso is not turning. And then work through those fingers. Nice and quick. Inhale. And exhale. Rotate your wrist one way and the other way. Try to pull across a little bit more and in if you want. There you go. Feel that through the arm, into the wrist. Okay, take your right hand, place it to your right shoulder. Take your left hand to your elbow and lift up first, then push back. Relax to the neck so your ears are lined up with the shoulders. Chin is straight forward. Going up and back. Inhale. Exhale. And then you're going to pull up and over. Feel that down. Make sure that the right hip stays down too. Lift up and over. Feel that down. Into the rib cage. And then you're going to twist from the rib cage. Looking down. Feel that through the middle of your back. Inhale, exhale, open back up, and release. From here, straighten those legs out a little bit. You can loosen them up, and then we're going to switch to the other side of the arm. So left arm pulls across, and you sit however comfortable. We are going to get to the legs in a little bit, but I want you to focus on pulling the arm across without turning the torso. Pull in nice and tight and then work through the fingers. Feel that through the left shoulder and scapula area. And you're gonna start feeling it down into the hands and forearms too. Rotate your wrist one way and the other way. Inhale. Grab hold of your elbow, lift up and back. Make sure to relax through your neck. Cross those legs back over so we can go into the next position. Lift your elbow up and back. Lifting your rib cage up and over. Feel that down the left side. And then rib cage twist. Looking down, feel it through the middle of the back. Inhale. And exhale. Turn back open and letting everything go. Legs out in front, toes are pressed down. We're going to slide down, feel that stretch through your spine. Chin is tucked. Reaching as far as you can. Take a deep breath in, feel that rib cage, the stretch move as your rib cage expands. 
Keeping your shin tucks even a little further as the knees stay down. Inhale, toes are pressed down. Exhale. Riding back. Feet are flexed. Chest is lifted. You're going to slide down. Grab a hold of your toes if you can. Pulling in, fill up through the back of the legs. Make sure the feet are straight up. Inhale, pushing those heels away from you. Pull the toes in, exhale. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Sliding back. You're going to take your right leg, cross it over. Take your left arm, hook around. Chest is lifted as you turn to your right. And then you're going to rock side to side. So you're going to stick, feel in that little massage in the hip. If you'd like to go just a little bit further than that, lift the elbow, or this is a knee, not an elbow, but um, your foot comes off the floor as you lift that leg. Chest is lifted, and then rock side to side. And you're gonna feel that massage even more. You can take both hands if you need to. Inhale. So we're going to go into the next stage. You can stay right here if this is right for you or right for you today. The next one is we're going to cradle your leg. So you're going to take your right foot inside your left elbow and then your right elbow around your knee and you're going to lift the chest up, you're cradling your leg and then you can rock forward and back or side to side, whatever works for you. Keep the chest lifted. Again, you can go back to that first stage or stay there if you'd like. There you go. Feel that into the hip joint. And if you want to just go a little bit further, lift the right foot up to the sky. There you go. And release. Okay, switch sides. Left leg crosses over. Hook your right arm around. Bring the knee up and then rotate across and then rock side to side. Go into this as far as you're comfortable and you'll find that one side's a little stronger than the other or one side's um, more flexible than the other and that's okay. As we go into these stages, please make sure to stay in the one that works best for you. I want you to maintain your form instead of forcing it. So go ahead and stay here if you wish. Next stage, you're going to bring your elbow around your left foot and then your other elbow around your knee. And then you can walk. Exhale. This might be very challenging for people. Try to keep the posture as much as you can. Chest is lifted. So it should feel really good. Getting into that hip joint. If you'd like to go further, left foot up to the sky. Whereas mine's not as flexible, so I'm not getting that foot up there as high as I do on the other side. And that's okay. And coming down, release. Both legs back out in front. Flex your feet, and then you're going to slide down. Feel it in the back of the knees. Okay. And then point the toes and tuck the chin, slide down. Sliding back. We're going to go out wide with your feet and then shift your hips forward. 
And then just kind of work those hips out a little bit if you need to. Hopefully they've kind of relaxed from that last stretch. And then you're going to walk your hands forward. Push those heels away. Toes are straight up if you can. Inhale. Feel that through the inner thigh and through the groin. Exhale. Letting everything go. You can go a little further and hold in this stretch. We're going to be holding this position for a little bit longer, so if you do need that break at any time, go ahead. But I do want you to challenge the more yin yoga where we're holding that stretch a little bit longer. Maybe not true yin, but longer than usual. Walk both hands to the right, turning to the right and then sliding down. There we go. You can go a little further. Walk back to the front, and then over to the left, turning to the left and dropping down. Inhale. Exhale. Sliding back, you're going to look up and over to your right, so lift the rib cage up, arm by your ear, and then lifting up and over. Lifting the ribcage up and over. Coming up and switch. Lift your ribcage up and then over. Keep your arm by your ear if you can. Inhale. We're going to reach both arms to the sky, lifting the chest up. Toes are straight up, heels pushing away. And then we're going to hinge forward. If you need to, especially if you're back, to place the hand on the floor, go ahead for support. But if not, challenge yourself, lifting your chest up and forward. Feel that down to the back, down into those hips. Inhale, reaching. And then both hands come towards your feet. You don't have to touch the feet, just reach towards them. Keeping the chest lifted. There you go. And then release. Bring those knees together, butterfly. Grab a hold of your ankles so we're not creating torque to the ankles. And then you're going to go up and down. Inhale, exhale. And then press those knees down, chest is lifted. Maybe try to push those knees as you press your chest forward. Shoulders relax. And then release, coming in. Turning to the side. And then elbows first, and then all the way down to the floor. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Grab a hold of underneath, and then rock side to side. This always feels really good. Release your legs a little bit, hands on your knees. 
and then rock side to side. So you're massaging for the tailbone and lower hips more. Place your hands, or not your hands, your feet on the floor, and then rock side to side. Arms down by your sides. Feet together. Feel that down to the tailbone and lower hips. Center. Full body stretch. Reach it up and over your head, extending through your toes, your fingertips. As you reach as far as you can. Arms straight up. Cross those arms over, reach as far as you can. Fill up your shoulder in the back. Let the arms go towards your head. Inhale. Exhale. Switch your arms out, same thing. Cross them over, reach as far as you can. and then up over your head again. Palms facing up if you can. Bring those arms back down to the floor, but keeping them straight so you can challenge the shoulder joints. Bring your arms in. You're gonna take your left knee, take your right hand to your left knee, left arm out to the side, and you're going to pull across. Feel that through the outer hip. And then come back to center. Now bring your legs straight up to the sky. And then pull across again. Push your heel away from you a little deeper. You can go back to that bent knee one if you need to. This is too intense. Push the heel away. Feel that through the outside. Come back to center. Take your left hand, grab hold of the inside of your calf or your foot, and then now you're gonna bring your leg out to the side and push your heel away from you. Feel that in the groin. And then your right hip flexors are gonna feel it too because they're gonna stay down. A little shaky. Come back to center. I'm gonna switch legs. Right leg comes in, left hand grabs a hold, pull across and in, feel that through the outer hip and thigh. Inhale, exhale. Come back, straighten the leg out, foot is flexed, and then now you're going to push away. You can cross over, hold onto your leg wherever you're comfortable. Push your heel away from you. Come back up, and then you're going to switch hands, and then now away. Make sure your left leg stays down so you're going to feel those hip flexors, and then push the heel away. Hold on to your leg however you're comfortable. You can always grab a towel or yoga strap too. Come back to center, and release. You're going to bend your knees and we're going to start by turning towards me. You're going to place your bottom hand underneath your head and then this elbow is forward so that we're not straining the shoulder. And then your top arm, we're going to stretch the shoulder joint itself. Start with your elbow down by your side at a 90 degree angle. You can see that's a 90 degree angle. And then I want you to rotate and then imagine somebody's got a hold of your palm and they're back. Feel it in the rotators, right deep in here. Come down with the hand, lift your hand or elbow off, and then you're going to open up so you can go a little deeper into the shoulder joint. Bring your hand back forward, and then now straighten the arm and out and back. 
open nice and deep through shoulder and chest reaching away from you come back to center we're going to go back to the first point so elbow bent 90 degree and open and down elbow off your side and open so we're going slowly into a deeper stretch release and then arms up over so I'm still facing you but you can just turn your body around since you already know what we're doing totally up to you bottom hand is underneath your head your elbow is straight forward both knees are down and bent start with your top elbow 90 degree angle into your side and you're going to open out getting into the rotators down Elbow up off your side and open a little more. This is where I'm a little tighter on this side. Everyone's a little different on each side. Okay, forward and then now open up all the way with the arm. Keep your knees down, chest opens up, elbow lifting away from you. Stretching deep into that shoulder joint. Inhale. And then come back to start, 90 degree angle in the elbow and open. There you go. Come back to start, elbow off and rotate. And down. Okay, open big arms, stretching out and away. Inhale. and push yourself away from the floor so use your hands and your elbows lifting yourself back up to a seated position and seat comfortably it works for you nice and tall from the spine and eyes gazing at the floor or gently closed nice and tall through your spine shoulders relaxed Deep breath in, exhale, letting everything go. Inhale, Open your eyes. Deep breath in, reach for the sky. And exhale. Inhale up. And exhale. One more time. And exhale. And namaste. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the class. If you'd like to get notifications, just click on that little picture of me. That's the subscribe button. You'll get notifications for the next ones. And I hope you join me back. Have a great day.